Hi everybody, it's Ruth Polly here. I am excited to do another video all in one of all of the non-toxic cleaners that I use in my home. This is just a subject that I am passionate about and excited to share with you tonight. Um, just the simple ways to get to still clean your home but have it be toxic free without all those chemicals and um, things that are not safe for our bodies. So, so here we go. I'm going to share all my secrets with you and um, go through each room of the products and to for further information, for further recipes, um, I have links for you and we have a Wellness Wednesday detoxifying your home class but I just wanted to do a quick video for um, to jump in for those of you who are new and just wanting to see how easy it is really to provide a safe and clean home for our kids and our families and children and pets especially pets because they like to lick things and they like to to roll around on the floors just like our kiddos do so here we go to start off we're going to begin in the kitchen so what um basically when you're just starting out all you really need is a cleaner concentrate and so water and my on guard cleaner concentrate i these are the two things that i started with and i just add some essential oil if I want it to have even more benefit and kind of disinfecting power if I'm cleaning something big. But for my, so what I've replaced, um, instead of dish soap, I, I use this. And for big jobs, um, lemon essential oil is helpful for extra greasy um, pans or um, anything gooey. Definitely lemon is helpful for that. So this is this is kind of my, my happy, easy, way to make recipes. It just sits there right on the counter um, at the sink. And for my hand soap, I have a doTERRA on guard hand soap and it comes with this refillable bottle. I just, I put the concentrate um, or the foaming hand soap about that much and then I fill the rest with water. Um, and you can add some essential oils to that to give it some more smell and power if you, if you like. Otherwise, um, this is just great. Okay, so the all-purpose spray. How? So this is how I clean my dishes. This is how I clean my hands. And now to clean the countertops, I use a spray bottle and it's my all-purpose spray. Spray down the countertops to disinfect and to clean. And it's this cleaner concentrate, a couple tablespoons filled with water, and there's my bottle. And I've written on, because it's just a simple recipe, I've um, just written on with marker. Okay, and if, if you have tough jobs that you need baking soda for something more scrubbing, um, like the oven, you can use, you can make yourself, um, you can put it, even put it in a pretty bottle and make yourself um, a baking soda mixture with coconut oil and essential oils, and that's even great for the toilet, cleaning hard spots or the sinks. Um, so baking soda is our friend when it comes to those those tough jobs um, let's see now we're gonna go on to the floors and uh, dusting spray furniture spray these are the three that I started off with uh, a long time ago and I still use them to this day so um, carpet cleaner a carpet powder before you vacuum I don't know if you've ever used those from the store but they uh, have the artificial uh, fragrances that are not good to to breathe in or to for our feet to absorb when we're walking on the carpet and so this is just an easy way to make it healthy and give us that fresh scent before we vacuum and baking soda and essential oils help to absorb absorb the odor that can that pets or potty accidents can bring or just accidents and spills in the home. So what I do is I mix, um, I get a, it'd be better if I had a glass um, jar, kind of like those Parmesan, um, you've seen at pizza parlor or pizza restaurants. They, you can get them at the dollar store, but um, I still am using an old uh, Parmesan container. And so I fill it with baking soda and it just sprinkles out nicely. I put about 20 drops of essential oil in here and I mix it up with a spoon. And then when I'm ready to vacuum, I just grab this off the shelf and I put it on the floor, let it sit about 15 minutes, and then I vacuum it up. That simple. 
Okay, this is my, I used to use Pine Sol. This is my replacement for, for that. Um, so this is a floor cleaner, what I mop with. And I just have one solution sitting there all the time. It's easy to, to look at the recipe. I print it off and it's always in here. So I'm ready to replenish and I know exactly what I've put in here. So it's a cup of vinegar. Uh, it's a table, a spoon of this cleaner concentrate and some squirts of Castile soap. This is another simple way to add toxic free cleanliness. And I uh, 10 to 20 drops of an essential oil of your choice. And then this you can put in two gallons of warm water. And some other essential oils that are great are rosemary, any citrus is gonna be really good. And of course the On Guard, because it has that um, really great blend of about five different oils with the clove and the wild orange. And it's just um, a great blend, um, has that disinfecting power in it. So there's the floor cleaner and the furniture dusting spray. Um, this was a big one that I thought it's possible, you know, just not to get the store-bought sprays, but to, on my bed, you know, in my room where I'm breathing in to get to use something that's um, fresh and clean and uh, not going to cause any harm to my health. So furniture dusting spray here. It's two tablespoons of white vinegar. It's one teaspoon of olive oil and 10 drops of a lemon essential oil. And then you fill the rest with water. So this is how I clean my, my furniture. And usually in my bedroom is where I have most of the, the wood furniture that I clean there. And then we go to the laundry room. All right, I've been using wool dryer balls for, for a while. These are ones that I made, and as you can see, they, they kind of unravel. So I am so happy to find ones that you can just buy on Amazon. They're very popular and easy to find now, or um, doTERRA sells them at times as well. Um, I remember for Christmas at one time, we made these, and we just kept going round and round and made these wool dryer balls for family. So we don't wanna use the dryer sheets also. They contain um, things that we don't want our bodies exposed to. We're breathing it in, we're wearing it on our skin. Um, I'm big on in the laundry room to have fresh, um, clean, safe, effective scents and um, that can clean but also smell great and um, not be harmful for our health. So the detergent, I use the on guard detergent that doTERRA sells. This is really um, great as well. I love it. Okay, so the wool dryer balls, and um, this is just a secret that a friend had showed me a while ago, um, had introduced me to these magnets. So um, there's science behind this, and you can look it up if you Google um, washing machine magnets. These will come up. So this is another way to clean your clothes without having to even use detergent, but I really like the detergent because it gives it that fresh, clean scent. Let's see where we're gonna go. The bathroom, so this is the last room where I'll bring up some of the products that I use or the, the DIY projects here, and and then we'll be, we'll be done. And I'm so glad that I was able to, to share some of my, my tools and my tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So I make my own toothpaste, and this this has gotten old looking now, but it's just in a small mason jar, and I dip my uh, toothbrush in it in the mornings. It has baking soda, coconut oil, and I, I use peppermint essential oil in it. And I absolutely love to use clove. I like the, the oral health benefits that clove brings as well. So I have a little glass bottle filled with some clove and some coconut, fractionated coconut oil. It's diluted. Um, at first I was just putting a drop on my toothbrush, but I noticed that it was too strong for my mouth and I was sensitive and so I diluted it. I just, I love getting all those um, great benefits in the morning and cleaning my teeth. And when I'm in a hurry, I use the doTERRA On Guard uh, paste, which is also has great health benefits oral it's good for your teeth and your oral health and so um, 
I'm just so happy to share about these products that I have been using for a long time myself, essential oils specifically, but doTERRA for about a year. And um, I hope this has blessed you and you feel, you know, more empowered even to just grab those, any toxic cleaners that you have in the home and to find another solution, just switch them out. It is really that easy to do. If you have any questions, uh, need any more details, please um, just send me a message and let me know. So have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.